This level coincides with the fifth chakra, which is commonly known as the throat chakra. The throat chakra is where your feelings and emotions are transformed into actual expressions. It balances the flow of communication and creativity and wisdom and learning. And the reason why is because you can create a frequency. You can create a vibration just like I'm doing, just like you're listening. It's that vibration. I'm sending you a message. You're learning from this. You're taking it in. It's a very powerful chakra because it's through self-expression that you can actually turn everything that we've done so far into the next step of creation. You can use this chakra to strike a balance between when you should be silent or when you need to speak your truth or express your unique self. It can literally help you to get out of the way and say what you honestly feel and you have to feel that from this area. Thinking about the flow of energy throughout your entire body Visualize the flow of prana connecting with the earth, flowing through your root chakra and into your second chakra where you are creating from your sexual energy. It continues to flow through your solar plexus where your inner powers are and you feel it and you feel it with that gut instinct. And then it moves up into your heart where you feel it and it radiates outside with unconditional love. And then finally, it reaches this point where it flows through your throat chakra. This flow of transmutation of energy from the earth within yourself will give you the power to communicate everything that you need to speak your truth and create your deepest desires. As you go through Varagya and you use these different exercises, you can lock these muscles with the bandhas that we talked about and you can hold your breath and you can start pushing this energy up your spine and picturing everything that I just talked about as it reaches the certain sections of your body. And quite literally, you have to become stiff and strong in those areas and breathe into them and really radiate that energy out. And when you get to this level, not only will it help you communicate better and express yourself better, but as you're saying OM, you're actually creating that vibration of what you want to create and you're putting it out into the universe as if you are creating the Big Bang for creating what you want. You think about how powerful that is for a second. What we're doing with OM is you're creating that Big Bang. You're creating the essence of what you want to desire. This is quite literally the level where it starts physically manifesting itself. Yes. I said physically. Up until this point, what we were doing is we were creating it, we were feeling it, we were loving it, we were connecting with the earth with it, right? And now what we're doing with the throat chakra is we're physically creating it. Now, you may not realize it's physically being created until it actually happens, but what we're doing here is we're putting it into existence, into physical existence. This is a really powerful level. So surround yourself with the blue energy of this chakra any time you need to, you know, compassionately speak your truth or you want to do this OM exercising and turn it into a reality. As you will experience in the project work for this level, I am are the most empowering words you can use to speak your truth along with OM. As with every other chakra, you also have to be careful not to tap into the negative aspects of the throat chakra. Tapping into the negative of this chakra can make it difficult to speak your truth, or communicate in general. It can also bring about bad communication and things that you didn't want to say. So when you're thinking and you're speaking and you're talking to someone, feel it coming through you. Don't use your brain to talk. Feel it coming from the bottom up. Also, letting yourself fall into negative self-talk can cause disruption in your prana or your energetic field. So that negative self-talk, like, oh, I can't do this, and this sucks, and I'm never going to be able to do that, and screw all that, that will lower your energy and will make your manifestation skills nil. You have to be positive. Again, going back to some of the previous levels, this is something that really, really, really is important. You see, there's no time like the present to start speaking your truth. So begin right now by going through this short exercise. The energy that flows to your throat chakra flows in from your heart chakra. 
So this chakra represents about being vocal and expressing your feelings from your heart. And you also have that energy that's being transmuted throughout your whole entire body. You felt it, you created it, you connected with it, you loved it. So expressing that true feeling and turning it into a reality. So take a minute and think about what truths you have kept buried deep within the recesses of your heart or within your body. What have you not been able to express or what have you not been able to accomplish? That is the truth. That is what you're trying to create. What is that truth? Write that down. And these are things that are also locked down outside of just what you're trying to create. So take out your project book and write them down. No matter how harsh they are or how scary they are or how crazy they are, write them down and find those truths. Find every single one of those truths that are sitting in the recesses of your heart. Next, I want you to simply take each hidden truth and say them out loud. Lastly, sit quietly and at peace with what you have just said out loud. Sit at peace with them and simply claim them as your truths. And after you've sat with your truths for a bit, go back to your project book and write down how it made you feel to finally allow yourself to speak these truths from the heart. As I mentioned, this is a powerful chakra when it comes to self-expression and communication with yourselves and others. So use it very, very, very wisely. Use its powers to help make your vision for your future a reality. As you move forward in creating your new reality, look for the divine spark of creation within yourself and others. Try to let go of controlling others' lives and focus on the positive traits as much as possible. 